Well, we knew it was going to be a tight race. But little did we know just how close it would be. Terry McAuliffe is now governor-elect. He defeated Ken Cuccinelli by a narrow margin. And you can see by our map here just how Virginians voted. It was voters in Northern Virginia and Hampton Roads who pushed him across the finish line. And as our new leader, Ted on your side, wanted to know his take on an issue that affects all of us, those tunnel tolls, which go into effect in February, shortly after he takes office. Tell me your side, Andy Fox yep. joins us now from Richmond with more on what he has to say. Andy. Well, he mentioned it at least two times about how important Hampton Roads was putting him over the top. We got the opportunity during this first news conference to ask him about tolls, to ask him about transportation, two issues that are very important to Hampton Roads. Governor-elect Terry McAuliffe credits Hampton Roads for being the difference in a close election. During the campaign, McAuliffe reached out to those who are opposed to tolls on the downtown and midtown tunnels. They begin February 1st. We asked Governor-elect Terry McAuliffe whether he will use the power of his office to reduce or eliminate the tolls on the downtown and midtown tunnels. I thought the tolls were exorbitantly high, and I think we need to sit down. I like win-win situations. And we will relook at that as it relates to the cost of the toll. Specifically, it relates to the folks in Portsmouth. They are exorbitantly high. You can interpret that as he understands the problem, and he will visit the issue in January. We asked him whether Hampton Roads representative on the Commonwealth Transportation Board, Aubrey Lane, will become the Secretary of Transportation. Lane is apparently on a short list for that position. Uh, <laughs> well, I want the transition team to begin to do their work first. He then said this about Hampton Roads and traffic and making traffic in Hampton Roads a top priority. Fixing the Hampton Roads transportation issues is a top concern for me. Obviously, with the military assets that we have there, the issues of the largest naval base in the world there, all the other military assets, we need to make sure that the folks who are serving those military bases can move around. It affects quality of life. Yeah, Terry McAuliffe talking about quality of life. He spent a lot of time in Hampton Roads. He realized how important it was. And if you just go through and look at all the vote returns from the cities in Hampton Roads, you can see the margins of victory that he got made him the next governor of Virginia. Clearly, Hampton Roads at the forefront of his victory. We'll have more on the McAuliffe administration coming up uh, in the coming weeks. Very exciting time for him. A change of pace now here in Richmond, and in Richmond, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.